Uh, no other people in the room, no other art or anything. Uh, you do see, with that roll, and you probably have to walk a little bit ways in to notice that you get, a, as you start looking, kind of quietly moving around the sides, you can see what looks to be, uh, can't tell if they're stones or satchels or sacks. There's things kind of jammed and stuck up in the upper corners of the far back edge of the room, up at the top of where the, the, the kind of crumbling portion of the far corner is, um, almost like shelves that are filled with sacks, sacks of grain or rice. Grain or, or rice. body parts. Okay, and wow. if I continue walking into this room, will, will, will one be above me? You don't see any directly above you. They're more relegated to the edges of the far corners. Nope. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll walk into this, probably not the center, that would be bad. Uh, oh boy. You have just the center, and then there's the right and left uh, around the pillars that kind of set in the kind of a square formation in the room, except for the one that's fallen in. I'm going to walk uh, around towards the one that's fallen in already. Maybe that's a trap that was already sprung. Okay. So you curve around that side. You kind of look up and get a bit of a better view of that area, and it looks like a bunch of. They were sacks. At a distance, best to, you know, the, at the, the edge of your per, your periphery, getting close, you can see there are bunches of like textured, it looks like rope or threads, thick yeah. threads that are all jammed together. Threads, Matt? Mm. Not yes. intestines or something. Not intestines. <laughs> okay. But there, there's a lot of there's like very very dense striations across it, like something has been wrapped multiple times in this. Oh, and it's at that point, as you're walking around the corner. No. Oh, no! <laughs> Something kind of touches you and sticks to your face. You kind of pull back. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Some speed. Spiders. You kind of look, and your hand is now has touched one of them too. And this <gasps> long, heavy, thick silk cord has oh, no. adhered to your hand in the side of your face. Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! What do you do? You also hear the sound of the rest of your party very carefully crawling their way into the chamber. You can see them emerging from the other side of the door. You know what happens when a little fly twangs the string, too? Uh -huh. <laughs> it alerts them. Oh, shit. No. Oh, no. I'm invisible. No, no, none of this. Alerts, but I have to communicate with you guys. No light source at all, right? Spilling no, our way. No, the only light source that was in there was the one that you were kind of about to put in there, but you took me right got scared of Oh man, what does a little so we're just coming goblin do? Under the door. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> you guys coming in as you kind of enter the area, the, the floor, and you, you noticed this thing last time, there's, or you saw it a little bit with, with Frumpkin, there is this kind of like mud on the ground that like, feels like, like clusters of somewhat dried mud that is. It's uh, poop. It, it resembles blood, but it's mixed with something <laughs> thick. No. Do we look over and see not just like <laughs> not no, invisible? Not invisible. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> I will. The room is entirely dark, which means Caleb cannot see yeah. anything. I will uh, just loudly, nor can Caduceus. loudly no. whisper. Watch out for spider webs! <laughs> Watch out for spider webs! <laughs> Watch out for spider webs! There's, there's spiders. <laughs> spider webs. Can you talk to the spiders like what you talk to bees? What is that sound? The spider webs! The spider webs everywhere! Do you hear that rusty door? Like, <laughs> it sounds like hinges oh, breaking God. apart.